Hello everyone, my name is Charles and this is a special edition of the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report for October 23rd, 2020 and we will be taking a look at the earthquake storm that is occurring up on the Kilauea Volcano Summit. Today, Friday, October 23rd, 2020 at 2.02 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, the USGS reported that between October 22nd and October 23rd of 2020 that the Hawaii Volcano Observatory recorded over 130 earthquakes beneath the northeast tip of the Kaoiki Fault System. These earthquakes are occurring in a cluster about one mile or two kilometers wide and one to three miles or two to five kilometers below the surface. The largest event in the sequence was a magnitude 3 earthquake, with the bulk of the events being less than magnitude 2 or not reported widely felt by residents. Reported felt events were described as weak shaking, with a maximum intensity of 3 on the modified Mercalli intensity scale. Clustering of shallow earthquakes in this region does not mean an eruption is imminent. HVO has recorded shallow earthquakes in this area for many decades across several eruptive cycles at both Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Other monitoring data streams for Kilauea and Mauna Loa, including ground de deformation, gas, and imagery, show no signs of increased activity. HVO continues to closely monitor geological changes, seismicity, deformation, and gas emissions at Kilauea and Mauna Loa volcanoes, and HVO will issue additional messages and alert level changes as warranted by changing activity. Now if you had watched the entire October 2020 Hawaii Volcano Watch Report, then you know about this little feature in the Halemaumau Crater Lake that has recently appeared on September 23rd. Uh, this video is from the USGS, which was filmed on September 23rd of 2020, showing an upwelling or potentially boiling area on the edge of the crater lake. So naturally, I want to ask the question, is this little feature here in the lake related to the recent earthquake storm on the Kilauea volcano? And even though USGS says this doesn't necessarily indicate any eruptive activity, I wonder if it could be a small, very subtle, telltale sign that magma may be returning to the summit. For more updates like this, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and while you're at it, click the thumbs up button. Let me know you like these type of updates. And that'll do it for the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report Special Edition. You have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.